everyone, this is Amanda from the Archer and Olive Ambassador Team, aka She Noted It All on Instagram. I am here today to bring you a video about making a fun about me page for your bullet journal. Now here in front of me, I have collected the things I'm going to use to make this spread today. I have my A5 Archer and Olive bullet journal. I have some pictures of myself. I have some calligraphs to add a little color to the spread because it wouldn't be about me if it didn't have color. And I have this printable page of different frame elements you can use for the spread. I made this specifically for you guys. So this can be found on the Archer and Olive blog as well as more information on how to make this about me spread. So I'm gonna be kind of making this in elements with you guys today. And to start off, I'm actually going to work with the printable frames. Yep, I'm gonna use them today too, and I've already pre-cut them out, and I have one that just fell on the floor, um, to go ahead and speed up the process a little bit. So I'm not gonna leave these blank. That is definitely not me at all. I'm gonna color them in first, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now I got the coloring done. The next step is going to be to cut out the middles of my frames and to cut out my photos from this paper so they can put them in the frames. And here you go. I decided to go ahead and glue everything into my journal before coming back to show you guys just because it was a little bit easier for me. I will make a note that when I put the pictures behind the cutout frames, I did have to trim them all a little bit. So I just kind of made guesses on the sizes of the photos, but they were pretty on par and just in case you're wondering about the printable this is an a5 notebook and i didn't resize anything this is exactly how it printed out on the paper so it all fits pretty well now i want to go ahead and explain a little thing about the photos obviously you're going to pick photos that say something a little bit about you and we're going to get to that in a little bit but i'm going to talk specifically about this one in the corner this one i decided to go ahead and just pick one that was really big of just you know, my head essentially, because this is kind of like my focal point. Like this is me telling myself in this spread um, what it's gonna be about. So that will come to play going forward. Now the next step, since I have this all attached in, is to make my title. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here in the corner. Unfortunately, I do not have a good filming situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause you while I do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, there we have it. My About Me title 2023. It uh, wasn't hard to do. I literally just took my grape jelly calligraph and wrote it out, and it took me about 30 seconds, and we we're good to go at that point. Now that I have my title, it's time to start adding the About Me facts. And this is kind of my favorite part because it can be whatever the heck you want it to be. It can be your favorite colors. It can be your dog's name, it can be where you live, your job, it could be um, where you're going to be traveling to this year, it can be just about anything. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out and kind of go over what I put in it once I'm done. And here we are. Easy peasy. This didn't take me long at all to finish. And just in case you're wondering, I did use my regular Tombow pin to do all the black parts here just to do the writing um so yeah let's go on from there I'll tell you a little bit about what I put on my about me page here I kind of did a little bit of whatever came to my head first of all in the pictures they kind of all represent different things that I love you know up here this is me at work freezing my butt off in Alaska here I am boogie boarding on the Washington coast and one of my goals for this year is to explore Washington where I live, where, where I grew up, just a little bit more. Here is a picture of me in Germany because I absolutely love to travel. And here's a picture of me and my sister at the Hello Kitty Cafe in Las Vegas because I love Hello Kitty as you can see right here. <laughs> so as a part to keep the like the titles separate from the information, I decided to highlight each of them. That's just my personal preference. You don't have to do it, but this spread is very, very much me. So I just chose some random things to put in my list. 
as I said before, you can really put anything about you here. Like I said, favorite color, vacation destinations, the options are really endless. So I decided to put these facts in mine. First of all, where I live, I put Western Washington. Obviously this is the internet. I don't want where I exactly live to be out there for everyone, but I do live in Washington state. And as part of that, I do love fall. We have a really glorious fall in Washington state. It's definitely my favorite season. I decided to put my favorite foods, and these are not my all-time favorite foods, but these are the foods I am obsessed with at this moment. Uh, my, my car is right now, and my pets. Uh, I don't have my own pets, I'll admit. They're my family's pets, but they're kind of like mine. <laughs> then I put where I work, the job that I do, flight paramedic, aka medevac specialist. I put things I'm excited for in 2023, that includes getting my own apartment and then traveling more. Some things I'm planning to do this year, these are just things that are on my kind of to-do list, but I want to put them everywhere so they actually get done. Uh, if I could travel anywhere this year, where would I go? My travel list is always changing, but these are the top of my list right this minute. And so that's Scotland. New Zealand, Japan, and Central America. Out of this list, the only place I've been to before is Japan, and I definitely want to go back because I keep seeing videos about awesome Japan stationery, and to be able to go shopping in person would be amazing. It would probably also wreck my budget, let's be honest. And then finally, what I want to do for me right now is just enjoy the small things in life and find true joy. So, this is my About Me page for 2023. Just some fun little examples. You can really do anything you want with these different elements. Make them totally yours. I'm a bright color fan. Maybe you are a muted color fan. Maybe like black and white. I'm excited to see the things that you guys come up with. So that's all I have for today. Again, there is a blog available on the Archer and Olive website kind of outlining all of the steps for this and the printable that has the frames on it is available there. So go check it out.